What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys see behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like Goodwills, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere that I can get stuff cheap, guys, because I love collecting the 80s and 90s nostalgic pieces of my past, but I ain't paying the eBay prices, guys. And today we go to another flea market in the area that I don't think I have been to in over a year. Uh, and I wanted to go check it out. And we did pick up a couple sweet items. But before we get into that footage, if you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, like retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Let's get into it. Beanie Baby sighting. So many Beanie Babies, I swear they're not worth anything. People will comment in videos and they're like, no, no, they are. I don't think they are. I think maybe like one or two of them are worth anything, but everything else is not worth anything. Smurfs, y'all. These are old. These are so old Smurfs. bag of eight for fifteen dollars huh i don't i don't really care about them but cool to see cool to see i just can't get myself to start start collecting albums and vinyl i just can't do it enough is enough too many things i collect too many things i'm not gonna lie guys i was a little bear fan is this orange Oh, the classic Nickelodeon orange VHS. Little beer was cool. 50% off everything in this booth. Come on, be something cool. We need cool stuff. Like these, like these roosters. Not quite cool enough for me. This definitely has the potential to have something in here, but. see a video game an old video game Hogan's Alley seven dollars that seems probably right in line with how much that is worth here are some Genesis games we got Battleship $3.99 we got F15 4 that might not be too terrible here's a Scooby-Doo game for $9. Yep. I know exactly what's happening here. Operation Wolf, eight bucks. Uh, Duck Hunt, nine. And Rescue the Embassy Mission, 10. This is actually not a bad game. But I'm not spending that much on it. Here's a boxed Genesis game, $6, ooh, that's interesting, eight, I used to have this game actually growing up, that's not probably terrible, but, eh, I think I'm going to pass, here's Bully, Bully's great, 13, yeah, they know, or 12, they are eBay, they are eBay pricing, which is fine, whatever, but, that's not a good enough deal for us, or even a deal at all. Ooh, look at these. It's the same booth, so I bet they're, yep, 20 bucks for these two glasses. So. But I mean, you know, they're cool. They are cool, for sure. I'll leave them for somebody else. Look at this booth. Oh, 50% off sale. 
They got all the old golden books, but there's some good ones in there. Big Bird. Bambi, classic, classic. I look at these guys every time. I'm like, oh, these look cool, but I think they're like little kid play school type things, maybe. Let's see what this is. Imagine, imagine action figure. Uh, they are definitely newer than what I grew up with, but I feel like I always grab them like, is this something? Some old VHS that I don't think I have the energy or want to to go through, so we'll pass on those for now. More golden books. There are, a bunch. I bet some of these are cool. A lot of train and automobile stuff in this booth so far. Look at that Elmo. He's cool. It's like, it's close to being the stuff that I like, but not quite. Some old Pez, it looks like. I say old, probably not even old. Bummer, man. This looks promising. Fifty percent off in here too. Mm. This is nostalgic for two reasons. Check this out. Uh, this is VR Troopers. Do you guys remember this? Remember this show? Was a little like Power Rangers. I think same, is it? I don't know how to say it. You guys could correct me. S S Sabian, I think, or something. Anyway, um, I think same people made this show. Pretty good show. I like this back in the day, but what, this is crazy. Or this is crazy because I remember this from the fair. These were like the pictures up at the fair and you like had to try to win things. And I remember the one specifically, you would throw darts and try to get the, um, the balloons. And then you could win, win this. I remember the frame specifically. This is eight dollars, and it appears to be fifty percent off because of this booth is fifty percent off. Oh, here's some more stuff. Um, but yes, very, very nostalgic, man. I'm gonna get this. I dig it. Oh, here's a wrestling. Here's a wrestling plug and play. Let's see how much this guy is. Fifteen. 50% off, 750. I'm tempted on that. I'm gonna put them back for now though. But definitely wanna get the VR Troopers. Some figures, whoa, 50 bones on that guy. Maybe he's worth it, but I don't want him. A ton of VHS. <laughs> Dude, I don't feel like people talk about this one. My favorite Martian. I'm a huge Christopher Lloyd fan. I think he is just, just a man. Hey look, double my favorite Martian. Don't see that movie very often. Classic. What the heck is this, y'all? No. Maybe I'm just biased. I didn't grow up on it. But it doesn't have Macaulay Culkin in it, man. It is not a dang Home Alone movie. Cool Runnings, I already have almost all of these, so moving on. What is this? Return of the Street Fighter. I was like, Street Fighter? I've never seen that one before. Uh, it is different. It's a different thing right there. What we got in here? Best of the Beatles. That's pretty cool. Nothing else, man. Who remembers reading these? Great illustrated classics. Oh yeah, I remember those. What we got in here? Captain America. Well, music's really loud where I'm at right now. Copyright struck. Disney VHS tapes. Guys, there is a uh, a myth that these are worth a lot of money. I have never found them to be worth anything. I see them every day. I'm sure there's like one weird variant of them that potentially could be worth something. But people text me or message me all the time. They're like, hey, are these worth a lot? I see them, and I bought some, and I think they're worth a lot, but they're not. This is a great movie, guys. The Sixth Man. But Anton Tyler is coming back. To give his team a ghost of a chance. Oh, I cried in this movie. 
the brother, he uh, he dies and comes back as a ghost and helps the team. Helps the team. They don't make good sports movies anymore. I miss sports movies that were that were great. Mm-hmm. Yup. Love that movie. Have it. It's sealed though. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna start getting movies graded like they do video games. I'm just kidding. Well, these guys are cute. Is this a thing? Johnny? I don't know. I like how he, I like how it looks though. Don't need it, don't need it. Spider-Man is in, is in stance. Actually looks like a nicer figure. 750, 2002. Near, near retro, 18 years ago. It's a pretty nice lava lamp. I finally got one, but I never use it in the game room. It's got like a neon green, slime green color, but I just never, I never use it. So far, a decent flea market. Like, it looks like you're about to find stuff. It looks promising, and then there's not a lot. Maybe it's just been really picked clean and all the good stuff has been taken. That's what it appears to be so far at least. Oh look at this. Here's a Ninja Turtle bank. It is like ceramic. This is nice. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's got the stopper. Newer. I could tell it was newer, but this is like substantial. And it's Raph. I actually, I actually like Raph. Raph gets some hate, but I like him. Do I think I'm gonna get Raph? It appears to be in good shape. It's got the stopper. Yeah, Raph. I like you. We found something else. This is good. Bunch of greeting cards. My wife used to uh, stock greeting cards at this like food marketplace, and they had cards there that were from 25 years ago. Like there were Doug greeting cards and they were like not new retro <laughs> Doug cards, but like actually old ones from back in the day. It was, inc it was crazy. She's like, look at this. Like this is how infrequent people buy cards here, that there are cards from the 90s. That's wild. Speaking of substantial, look at this guy. Monsters Inc, Sully, $12. All right, guys, before we get into our pickups, I do have a package I want to open up from a fellow YouTuber, Sprooch Retro Hunting, an awesome channel on YouTube that you guys need to go check out. He does the same exact thing that I do. He, he retro game hunts and retro toy hunts or vintage toy hunts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but he sent me a package. Now, I did buy one of these items from him. He found a Pokedex, guys. Do you remember these? Pokedexes from back in the day and I've always wanted one so um he found one it's in really good shape and I think he even mentioned me in his video whenever he found it because he knew that I've been looking for one so I bought that from him so I'll show you that and he said there's a couple items in here he just wanted to send over so I'm about to crack this open but again go check out Spruce's uh, channel it's a really great channel link down in the description below so let's get into this all right guys first up we have something Nickelodeon related it is Gerald from Hey Arnold. This is sweet y'all a little vinyl figure. I actually have a Gerald bobblehead over uh, on the shelf. So this is going to go great um, with with that other Gerald and he actually has a strawberry shirt on. I think that was a a particular uh, episode where he, he wore that shirt. I think I'm remembering. So this is pretty cool. It looks like there's a ton of different figures in this line, including a gold Stimpy. All right, I've got to get my hands on that. Uh, cool, cool first thing to pick up from, from Justin. I appreciate that. Now we have a Ronald McDonald, uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toy. I think these had like different suits you could put on him, like a space suit and other ones as well. So that is cool. Um, here is, here's the Pokedex. Let me get this open. I've been waiting for this. Waiting to get one of these for a long time, guys. And it is crazy clean. Look at this handheld uh, from Tiger Electronics. And you put in all your Pokemon and you did stuff. I never had one, so I don't know 
all the features that it has, but I can't wait uh, to to get into this and, and to play with this some and to put it on the shelf. Pokemon uh, Pokedex. Guys, Pokemon is turning, what is it, 25 years old this year, which is insane, but awesome to get this. Thank you so much, Justin, for, for hooking me up with a good deal on this. And the last thing we have, it appears to be, let me put this over here, uh, is a bag full of nostalgic items, most of which being slap bracelets. Do you guys remember rad slap bracelets? Why are they not cool anymore? You just open it up like this, maybe, and then you just, hey! and there it is. And now I'm looking cool with my slap bracelet. So there are like uh, seven or so, uh, and then there are a couple more things in here. There is a new kids on the block pin. I collected pins like crazy also uh, when I was a kid. I used to get them from my uh, movie store. Like it would be like a Space Jam pin or a Home Alone pin. Those are really cool. And then here is a marble. Is there something in it? Nope, just a big honking marble. So that's cool. He is girthy. And one other thing in here, it is a one of those sticky hands. It's a sticky hand, remember these two? You would throw them up on your ceiling and be, they'd be stuck up there forever. Here's a little bracelet as well. So Justin, thank you so much for the extras in that or in that box and that sweet Pokedex, guys. That's amazing, thank you so much, Justin. So let's get into our pickups from this flea market. The first one being this TMNT Raff Bank. I think this thing is ceramic and it is nice, guys. Now it's not super old, it is from 2015. So again, not crazy old or anything, but it does kind of have the older style look to it. Um, and my bank collection is getting pretty wild, guys. I think this is like my sixth or seventh bank, which is okay because I, I do like collecting them, but I'm also trying to get my son into saving money. He's getting an allowance every week now, and he's been wanting uh, to get a bank. And he saw this one and he really wanted this one. So for now, this is going to reside in, in his in his bedroom so he can put his change in his dollar allowance. He only, he only gets a dollar a week, but he's only two. And then we take him to like the Dollar Tree or something and he picks out something. So pretty sweet TMNT bank. And my only other pickup guys was this VR Troopers little poster picture thing. Now, this, I talked about it in the video, was crazy for me because I remember I remember trying to win these little pictures at the fair. Do you guys remember? These would all be up on the wall and you would like throw a dart at a balloon or something uh, and then you would win a prize. And I would spend like $30 to try to win some stupid little picture that's probably worth $3, right? But this was crazy nostalgic for me. One of the most nostalgic things that I have seen at uh, a flea market in quite a while and I loved VR Troopers so this was awesome to pick up. Guys, what was your favorite thing uh, that I got this week? Uh, even including uh, the package from Sprooch, um, the Pokedex, the VR Troopers, a little poster or or the bank. I don't know, for me it might have been, it's either this or the Pokedex because because both were super nostalgic for me. But you guys tell me down below. Thank you guys as always for hanging out, for watching the video. If you guys would, please like the video. It helps so much. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.